The Honourable Member for Livingston McLeod. Mr. Speaker, under this NDP government, things have gone from bad to worse for Albertans. In just two short years, they've imposed a radical agenda of economic experiments and job-killing tax hikes. 84,000 full-time jobs are now gone. 100,000 Albertans are on EI. And a record number of people are crowding into homeless shelters and food banks. While Albertans are suffering, the NDP is calling them names like, and I quote, embarrassing cousins and sewer rats. The government's lawsuit against power companies and the flip-flop on a new Crown Corporation have investors worried that they don't respect contracts or the rule of law. Amidst all of this, the $5 billion carbon tax is bleeding families dry. The NDP didn't campaign on it, and Albertans don't want it, despite this government spending over $10 million on carbon tax propaganda. The Premier swore up and down that all this money would stay in Alberta. Here's the truth, though. The carbon tax will transfer $140 million straight to Ottawa. But that's their MO. They're using carbon tax money to transfer wealth, like when they gave EagleFit, an NDP-friendly company from Ontario, tens of millions to screw in free light bulbs. The writing is on the wall for business also. Shell, ConocoPhillips, major international companies, they're all getting out of Dodge. Meanwhile, our Premier is making political enemies of our closest allies in Saskatchewan and BC. It's just one disaster after another from this government. So let's take a look at where we're going. They've sent us down a road that leads to nowhere but more credit downgrades and a record $74 billion of debt. This will soon cost us billions every year in interest payments. The NDP just doesn't understand Alberta, no matter how hard they try. Albertans, though, don't play second fiddle or aim for the middle. Albertans lead. This government doesn't understand that, but Albertans do, and they can't wait to put Albertans back in charge of this province in 2019.